Hi everyone, how are you? It is Thursday. Um, I actually have the other cat in with me today. As you can hear, he's a little bit more vocal. Um, <laughs> so he may meow his way through this. I'm going to apologise for that first. Um, just let me refresh this feed. Cat's going everywhere. Um, so that I can see you lovely people. I can see your comments. How, oh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so this is Socks. Um, so we have two cats. We have we have Barry and we have Socks. Um, both as much of a pain in the backside as the other one. There we go. Um, hello, how are you doing? I've had uh, a busy couple of days, actually. What with all the summer stuff going, uh, going up and going live on the website and everything. Um, have also had quite a few bookings, which has been amazing. So I've now got one space left for the clay day. Uh, two spaces left for the calligraphy day. Um, I've only got a few spaces left on the summer art camps, which are like Friday afternoons. Um, and yeah, and then the rest of them. So, so I've still got lots and lots and lots that are available over the summer. Um, they just need to be booked. <laughs> they just need to be booked because we've had to reduce the numbers in the workshops because there's only six people. Um, they all need to be booked out. So please keep booking, keep sharing, keep looking at all the different workshops and things that we've got going. Um, that would be great. Yeah, as I say, quite a few of them have only got a couple of spaces left now. Um, sort of about three or four of them, but there are there are plenty left. And we've got like a whole idea to exhibition one, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, there's the arts camps on the Friday afternoons. There's a witches and wizards. Uh, I think that's a two day thing um, where we do lots of different arts and crafts around witches and wizards. So yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We've got lots going on. Um, hello, Tabitha and Jocelyn and Fiona. Hello. Nice to have you guys join us again. Um, yeah, so it's been really good. And then amongst all of that, I also had a, a bingo night um, online with some friends, which was hilarious. Um, my friend's got this kind of app on her phone that shouts out all the numbers. And there was some very odd rhyming slang going on, I can tell you. It's very bizarre. Um, so yeah, it was good. It was good. Hopefully you guys have got colouring pencils with you. So we're going to do, uh, it's day four of our, of our drawing day. Um, so hopefully you've got some colouring pencils and a normal pencil um, to be able to draw with as well. Um, just get the cat hair off of my piece of paper as Socks has decided to join us. Um, I am going to use a pencil with an F on the end. If you've just got a normal HB, just use a normal HB. This one's got an F on the end, which sounds for fine. Um, so this one's really going to help because we're going to draw some kind of basic outline and then we're going to really, really play around with our colouring pencils, which would be awesome. So it's a nice, easy win today. It's a really nice, simple one. Um, so I thought as we're getting towards the end of the week, um, we'd best go simple. Uh, next week, next week, we are going to be back doing watercolours again. Um, cause I thought we haven't done it for a while. We haven't done it for about four or five weeks. So I thought it would be worth doing. So that's what we're doing next week. So Mondays, you will need your, uh, your watercolour paints and paper and everything else that goes with it. Uh, hi mum. Nice of you to join us. Excellent stuff. Right. So I'm going to drop you guys down so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, and what we're basically going to be doing is the outline of a person and their ball gown but the main emphasis is going to be on the ball gown and we're only going to draw the back of their head so as if they're turning away from us the reason behind this is because it's easier and simpler i can't be bothered to draw a face <laughs> and it means that the focus is on the dress which we're going to do with our coloring pencils um Oh, excellent, Lynn. Yeah, look at the watercolour workshops. Yes, yeah, so so we've not just it's not just for kids all the stuff over the summer holidays. Um, we've also got watercolour workshops in the evenings and life drawing workshops in the evenings that are for adults. To be honest, the rest of it's also for adults. You'd be more than welcome to join. Um, so yeah, have a look. Have a look at what we've got. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower you guys down so that you can see what I'm doing. So the first initial part I'm gonna do is basically just mark out the top third ish 
just very gently. So I've done a really, really light line there, so you probably can't see it that well. But I've just marked out the top third because the main bulk of the drawing is going to be done in the top third and then all the colouring pencil is going to be in the bottom two thirds. So that's that's what we're going to work on. Um, oh, excellent, Lynn. Week off next week. Lovely. Um, so we're going to start with, and I'm going to try and draw um, quite hard so that you guys can really see my drawing. But if you want to draw lighter, please do. Um, because it will it will help you kind of sketch it out. So don't worry about going as hard as I'm going with the pencil so that it means you can rub out your mistakes, you see. So I've kind of got head shapes, so I've got a kind of slightly uh, oval shape going on there. And then what I'm gonna do is draw basically a bun in her hair. I'm hoping you guys can see this. And I've just got kind of a couple of circles. I'm making it look quite sketchy. And then I'm just drawing a few, not many, but a few kind of lines to show the direction that the hair's gone in to get to that bun. So let me hold that up so you guys can see. So I've got the bun in the center with just a couple of circles. Couple of lines just showing the direction of the hair and then that oval shape. And then what we're gonna do is bring off some lines off of this so that it looks like her hair's just slightly falling out of this uh, this bun. So let's kind of just go flick a couple of bits there. Might have one or two kind of bits going down her neck without trying to make her neck look too hairy. And then a couple of bits off there. So again, I'm gonna hold that up. So that's just the back of her head, okay. Yep, yeah, no worries. Those people that are just watching, that's fine. Just watch and you can join in later on. Excellent stuff. Now the neck, I'm going to bring down. She's got quite a slender neck, this lady. Into the shoulder. And into the arm. Now normally I would do this a lot, lot lighter. But I'm going to draw quite heavy so that you guys can see what I'm doing. I am just going to mark out the other side of that arm as well so that you can see. I'm not doing the whole arm, you will notice. I'm just going down as far as that. Now the reason for that is that the dress is gonna come out over the arm, which also means that we don't have to draw hands. Yay! <laughs> no complicated bits today, you see. And then what we're gonna do is put that, bring that other shoulder in, um, which is kinda of, kind of gonna be more her back, really, to be honest. And then I'm going to bring a V shape to the dress going up there. I might bring that in just a little bit more actually. Just make her a little bit more slender. See, this is why I normally dry it, draw it uh, lighter <laughs> than I have been. There we go. Let's just rub that bit there. So we can bring her back in a little bit. And then I've just got a kind of V there. That's going to be the top of the dress. So let's hold that up for you guys. So I've literally just drawn her, what I can see is her left arm, but I think you guys can see right. So I've just drawn the top half of her arm and her back disappearing into the line of the dress. And then just that very, very loose drawing of her hair. Okay. And then we're going to go in with colour pencils. Now I'm going to use, um, I might use a green actually today. I'm just going to draw a couple more lines in with the hair there. Yeah, I think I might use a green actually. So pick your colour, whatever colour you're going to use. And I'm going to use uh, a nice dark green at the top. Uh, a slightly lighter green and then I might... No, I won't use that, it's too limey. Maybe use a slightly lighter green in a minute, I'm not sure. But for start off with, I'll use these two. So the very, very top of the dress is going to be using this really, really nice dark green. And it's going to go in this kind of shape. So if I roughly draw that there so that you guys can see. It's a very rough outline of the shape of the dress. So the top bit, I'm going to do very, very dark green. So I'm going to really press quite hard with the pencil. 
really, really, really hard. So it's, oh, it's a nice green, actually. A kind of jade green. There we go. So I'm going to go really quite hard with that. And kind of block in the top bit, really. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So the next bit I'm going to do is because we want to make it look like this dress is kind of uh floating and it's got creases in it as all that material is coming down what we're gonna do is just draw in a couple of so she almost looks like she's got some kind of weird spider thing going on <laughs> just to show the real movement of this dress and you can colour in up at the top there a little bit as well, but you just press a little bit harder just for those creases in the material. So again, I'm going to colour this down a little bit further. Graduate the top in just a little bit there as well. I'm going to bring this one down quite far, I think. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that. So you've got those kind of real creases in the material done with that real dark colour. So I'm just going to bring that colour down a little bit. And we're actually not going to completely finish the bottom of this dress anyway. So can you see that I'm very, very lightly and just using the side of the pencil. So if you use the side of the pencil, you don't get those horrible pencil marks. And I'm just going to go over the top bit again, just to darken it a little bit more because we want it nice and dark at the top there. There we go, so we get a really nice kind of graduation of those colours. Okay, so then I'm going to use my lighter green here. So I'm just going to, again, just bringing that in underneath. Again, using the side of the pencil, so I'm keeping it quite, um, quite horizontal to the table. And just following the creases, really. So I'm moving lower on the page where the crease moves lower higher on the page where they don't come down as far. There we go. And just bring the lighter green up into the darker green as well. There we go. Looking great. And then we just kind of let it blend off. Now, if you want to with pencil, you can use a bit of tissue or your finger and really just rub your finger over it like we would do with chalks and things like that or charcoal, just to really kind of blend it a little bit more. So you can do that, look, you can see the green on my finger now. So you can do that to really kind of bring those colors together if you wanted to. You might be happy with the effects that you've got. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the darker green at the top here, just to really blend it into the top of the dress. There you go. One finished piece. Now, if you wanted to, you could go over the top uh, half of her body in maybe like a fine liner um, or something like that. You don't have to keep it as pencil if you wanted it to stand out more. Or you might just be really happy with the fact that that dress stands out so well. One finished piece. Oh, and don't forget to rub, just having seen it, don't forget to rub out the guideline that we drew in at the top as well, that um, that top third of, uh, of her body. Don't forget to rub that out. I must do that on my list. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. It was just a really, really, really nice, simple one today. Um, as simple as I can make it for a Thursday. <laughs> Tomorrow, you guys will need some paper. You'll need pencils. You will still need your colouring pencils for tomorrow. Um, with got something that's just going to be really really nice and fun to do tomorrow um or felt tips actually you could use felt tips if you wanted to tomorrow not just pencils um because they they'll make it quite nice and bright 
uh, drawing pencils and paper. That's all you will need for tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Lynn. This <laughs> is pretty. It is pretty. It's very pretty. I like it. Um, so don't forget, it's watercolours next week. Um, if you would like to leave a donation for Arty Arty Farty Retreats, please do have a look on the link that I will pop on in the comments um, and just give what you can to keep this little business alive. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow at 2pm.